Here we see Hamlet's Mill as a ring of twelve attribute traits surrounding five lines separating six pairings of these traits across the ring's face. In astrology, the twelve attribute traits are expressed as the twelve zodiac signs Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And the bars across this circle are attributed to the seven classical planets of antiquity. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon. In these diagrams, we will be replacing these purely symbolic signs with numerical digits to compare the relationships that occur. So, instead of the twelve signs of the zodiac, we will simply substitute the numbers one through twelve, and instead of the seven planetary dignitaries, we shall place the sums of the numbers opposite one another on the circular mill model. So, say, for example, the numbers joined across the ring by the bar are 1 and 12. Then the bar will contain their additive sum, 13. By using this mathematical method, rather than the astrological, we can establish six such models, five mixed and one prime, based on all the possible combinations of the digits, 1 through 12. These six Hamlet's Mill arrays describe the 11 possible additive sums that result from comparing the 12 digits in a circle. These 11 are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23. The grand total for each array is 78, the sum of all the sums added for that array, and since there are six such arrays, then the sum total of all six grand totals would be 6 times 78, or 468, also called 12 times 39. So we see that if we label the circular mill array with the first 12 digits, we will be replicating the face of a clock. If we begin with the lowest of the 11 possible additive sums, 3, we find that 1 plus 2 equals 3. This sum only occurs on the arrays once. In the second array, 5 occurs twice. In the third array, 7 occurs three times. In the fourth array, 9 occurs four times. In the fifth array, 11 occurs five times. And in the sixth prime array, all six additive sums are equal to 13. So, naturally, each of the reciprocal pairs of these first six number sums in the additive set will fill the opposite amount of space in the array models. So we see that there are five sums of 15 in the first array, four sums of 17 in the second, three sums of 19 in the third array, two sums of 21 in the fourth array, and one sum 23 is in the fifth array. Just so, one sum of 3 plus 5 sums of 15 equals 78 grand total for the first array. Two sums of 5 plus 4 sums of 17 equals 78 for the grand total of the second array, and so forth, such that each array adds up to the same 78. 
By this criteria, we can label each array with a title, not based in this math, but on it, such that the first array can be labeled 18, as the primary components of its additive set are the sums 3 and 15, which add to 18 for the nomenclature of the first array. So, the second array, combining the primary components 5 and 17, can be called the 22 array, because 5 plus 17 equals 22, and so on. Thus, the names or titles for the six arrays are 18, 22, 26, 30, 34, and 78. When we say the sixth array, meaning the array called 78, is prime, we can see this is because all six of its additive sums are 13, such that 6 times 13 equals 78. All of the other five arrays are mixed because they all have two different additive sum primary components. For example, the first array, called 18, has primary components 3 and 15. The second, called 22, has those of 5 and 17, and etc. While the sixth prime array only has the one, 13. Graphically, this is because 1 plus 12 equals 13, 2 plus 11 equals 13, 3 plus 10 equals 13, 4 plus 9 equals 13, 5 plus 8 equals 13, and 6 plus 7 equals 13. I suspect these mathematical relationships were known prior to the composition of the astrological zodiac round model and were encoded into its simpler symbol set.